nothing with these goddamn trucks. Got another showcase for you guys here with the Roadhog and the Roadhog XL. Let me tell you what, I'm not really excited to cover these cars. They don't appeal to me in any way, and I feel like they're going to be super bad, but you never know. Um, but as usual, going over the hitbox, the general design of the car, and how I feel about it. Here we are with the Roadhog. Just looking at the car, it has an obnoxiously large exhaust system on both sides, which is kind of cool, I guess. Uh, it is looking like a pickup, I guess. I'm not entirely sure, but overall, it's a really big car. I wasn't expecting it to be so big. I've never used it before, and these wheels even look massive on the on, on the truck as well. So, I mean, I'm not too sure what to expect from it. Um, I've not, I've never used a Roadhog. Um, overall, design-wise, kind of looks very blocky and kind of like a big brick. But other than that, I'm really curious to see how it plays in game and what kind of hitbox they got. All right, so here we are with the Roadhog. Hitbox, you know what? I was not expecting it to be the Octane hitbox, which is absolutely wild. Um, but it is what it is, I guess. Um, just looking at the hitbox itself, it is slightly bigger, but not really too bad. Um, looking at this top-down view, it actually fits it very well. Way better than I thought, and I'm pretty sure I'm, like, misjudging the actual size of it now just by looking at this hitbox. Um, but just looking from the top-down view, you can see that it kind of... Uh, caves inward a little bit the, the sides don't meet very well the back part is definitely the biggest part of this car um, but overall I mean I'm actually surprised it has octane hitbox which means I'll be used to it when I play with it but I feel like I don't like this car and that's probably gonna bleed into my gameplay but we'll find out uh, this is the hitbox octane for the Roadhog so again surprised I thought I might have the Merc hitbox but it doesn't so it is what it is let's see how it is in game Alright, so in terms of the Roadhog, whether I liked it or not, to be honest, it was not the best experience. The car just looks massive, and to be honest, it looks the same all the way around, which when I'm, I guess, twirling or, or jumping or it doing an aerial, I feel like the car's not moving too much, and I don't see the cues in my eyes to of what I'm doing, so I, I don't know, it just didn't feel good to me. Um, that being said, it... it it has a lot of power. Let me tell you what, air aerialing in this car felt like I was hitting the ball too hard all the time. I don't know if it, it, I don't think it actually does hit the ball harder, but I feel like it hits the ball harder, which, I don't know, it's just, just a truck of brute force is the way I see it, and it definitely did not suit the Octane hitbox, at least for me, because I know it's a hitbox I use all the time, but with this car, I feel like I've never used it before, so in my eyes, I didn't feel too great about it. So here we are with the Roadhog XL, and you know what? It's living up to its name because it's a bigger version for sure than the original Roadhog. This thing has double the exhaust and has four. Uh, I really like these mud flaps right here because everybody, everybody in the stands an egg, and so they kind of have this egg posing. Um, but overall, I mean, it kind of looks like a Mad Max style version of the Roadhog if Mad Max ever came. I mean, this thing's very kind of decked out to be, I guess, super durable, I guess. I'm not entirely sure, but I mean, really cool, really big. Um, kind of, I, I do like the add-ons, and it for sure looks like an even bigger version of the Roadhog, so it's living up to its name in that end. Let's see how it is on the hitbox, and uh, how it feels in game. Here we are with the Roadhog XL, also with the Octane hitbox, so it, it's I guess around the same size, maybe a little bit bigger than the uh, other Roadhog, but I mean, looking at the hitbox, it is somewhat of a bigger car for sure, but not too big, I mean, it still fits the hitbox pretty well, I mean, just the back part that protrudes a little bit, the sides, to be honest, look even better, it is definitely taller than the regular hitbox, you see it kind of sticks over, but I mean, other than that, it's kind of essentially the same as the road as the other Roadhog. Um, the design is definitely better because it has that Mad Max feel, and I think the back part is a little bit uh, wider than anything else. But overall, again, still surprised it's the Octane hitbox and not the Merc. But I mean, it is what it is. Let's see how it is in game. So in terms of the Roadhog XL. I kind of got the same vibes. It it does look cooler. I think of the two, I might just be using this one a little more. But overall, I mean, it's not it's not for me. I'm tired of trying to get some decent gameplay with this car. I just felt like this car wasn't for me, and it wasn't doing anything I would want it to do. 
It's kind of getting a little frustrated with it. Um, again, it does have the same Octane hitbox, so I should be performing just the same as if I was using an Octane or a Fennec or anything like that. But in this case, it, it just wasn't the case. I just, this thing just feels like a brick. It's just one big, heavy piece of machinery that isn't for me. <laughs> I tried a little too hard trying to make it work, but I mean, if you're working that hard to make something work, then it's probably not the right way thing to go, so that's just me but not for me so in terms of ranking in our last video we did the fast and furious dodge charger and i love that car and we're kind of gonna humble down a little bit because i'm not too excited about these two cars in terms of ranking it, it it's not definitely not gonna go in the love like or neutral section i'm more dislike them more than anything i think both the roadhog is going to be in the dislike section as well as the roadhog xl i didn't hate them but they're definitely not the car for me and that's my ranking for these two cars and so that's my ranking guys for these two cars the roadhog and the roadhog xl i was not excited to do them but i'm kind of happy i got them out of the way because now i don't have to worry about them <laughs> uh I'm sure there's somebody out there who loves these cars, but for me, no thank you. I'm happy to be done with it, and I look forward on the next video because we're going to do some exciting cars on that next one. With that being said, again, thanks for watching, guys. If you made it to the end, I would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. It would really help me out in my YouTube algorithm, and enjoy.